In order to play back sounds in Unity, you'll need two things, an audio listener and an audio source. Typically your audio listener will be on your camera. You can see on this camera I have one audio listener there and you'll only ever have one in each scene because that's the point at which your player hears sounds. Here I also have an empty game object with no components on apart from the standard transform. But if I wanted to play back a sound I would need to apply an audio source component which can be found in the component menu. I can either apply a clip using the inspector panel or I can feed clips to it by writing a script. There are two types of sound in my project. I have a stereo sound and a mono sound. Typically you'll use mono sounds for sound effects as they can be used in the 3D space and they will be quieter as you get further away from them and typically you'll use stereo sounds for music as a general rule. So we have a piece of music there which might be constantly playing and we have a simple sound effect here. Okay, so if I wanted to apply those to my game object, I can simply drag and drop them onto the audio source. And I could say play on awake, which would mean when I press play, that sound effect gets played. But what I might want to do is to tell my audio source to play them at a specific time. And in order to do that, I'd write a script. So first of all, I have an audio source there with no clip applied to it. So when I press play, nothing happens. So what I'll do is write a script. So I'll go to create JavaScript and I'm just going to call this play sounds. In that, I'm going to use a start function just to demonstrate as always. And here I'm going to write firstly to address the audio component. So I'll write audio then a dot and then select one of its commands. So one of the commands is play one shot. So if I wanted to just um, play an instance of that grenade launching sound, I'd use play one shot. In to play one shot, you need to refer to a clip. So I need to make um, an audio clip a variable that I can apply my sound file to. So I might call it my clip and at the top create a member variable called the same thing and give it a type audio clip. So if I save that and switch back to Unity, I can apply that to my game object. So I'm simply referring to another component, the audio source component by saying audio. And you can see my variables exposed there. So I simply need to drag that grenade launch sound on there and press play. And it gets played on startup. So what if I didn't want to use the audio source? Another way we can play sound is by spawning uh, a new object with the sound source and the sound clip applied in one. To do that, instead of using play one shot, what we can do is write something called audio source dot play clip at point. What that does is to create an instance of a new object at a specific point in the 3D world uh, which has an audio source component and a clip already applied to it. So the two things that it needs are the clip to play and the position. First off the clip, so I'll use that my clip variable again to feed it a particular file, and then a position. And just to save writing out a vector 3, I'm going to take the position from whatever object we apply this script to. So transform.position is an example of a vector 3, so an x, y, z position in the world. And I'm going to take it from that game object which the script is applied to. So I'll save that, switch it back to Unity, and then reapply that so that it can take the position from transform.position. Then I'll simply apply my grenade launch sound again and press play. And you can only notice it if I pause it very briefly but that script has spawned this third object called One Shot Audio, which had has Grenade Launch already applied to it. And if I let that continue playing, as soon as the audio is finished, that object gets tidied up and destroyed. So that's just some basic ways of playing sound in Unity.